If you're asking the question, where can I advertise my business online? You're really fortunate that you found this video because there are a lot of ways that you can do it. There's a lot of rabbit holes you can go down, but there's one way that has many advantages above everything else. It's way more cost effective. It's way more long term. And the leads that come in from this type of advertising are like referral quality leads versus the garbage and junk leads that you get that you don't even want. Now, it's kind of ironic that I'm filming this video today because yesterday I was in Cleveland and it's kind of a coincidence that I'm filming this video because I saw something yesterday. So I was in Cleveland. I went there to watch the eclipse. And while I'm up on the top floor of the parking garage at the Cleveland airport, an airplane flew by. There was an advertisement really short and it had a phone number. And I just look at this airplane and I'm thinking, how expensive would it be to pay for that type of advertising and how effective is it? Well, online advertising is known to be way more efficient and in the world of online advertising, there are certain types of online advertising that are way more efficient as well. Just as different as offline and online advertising is, I would say that this type of advertising online is drastically different from the majority of online advertising. So I'm excited to share this with you. So have you ever driven past a car dealership and on top is a big inflatable gorilla? I've never understood how that is good advertising. And I've always joked with my wife that man, one day when I can afford an inflatable gorilla, I'll just put it on my house and then I'll be set for life. Everyone will want to hire me. Well, in the online world, there's actually a great variety of ways that you can advertise. And some of them are just as crazy as hiring an airplane to pull a banner or inflating a big gorilla and putting it up on your roof. So let's talk about what some of these ways are online. Now, when most people think about the different types of online advertising, they're thinking about it in terms of the different websites that their ads will appear. They think the ads are uniform across the board. So you might see an ad on Facebook and a Facebook ad might have these dimensions, but a Google ad might have these dimensions and something on Instagram might have these dimensions. But that's all just banner advertising. It's push advertising. Banners are appearing in places where they're not being sought for. Then there's something tricky that you can do and it's called banner retargeting. So you've probably experienced this if you did a search for a product on Amazon, right? So you search for that product, but then you went to another website and you see ads for that same product and you go to another website and that product seems to follow you around. That is actually a pretty clever way of continually advertising to people who already showed interest in what you have to sell. But notice how you're chasing people or you're pushing your content in front of people. There's a different type of online advertising and that is pull marketing. You're pulling people in instead of pushing your stuff out there to everybody, whether they want it or not. By pull, I mean that you're attracting the people that are already showing interest. So how do you do that? Well, think of it in terms of search. And let's talk about YouTube specifically. YouTube is an amazing search engine. The only search engine that is better or equivalent would be Google. And Google owns YouTube. Facebook, their search engine is terrible. LinkedIn, their search engine is terrible. All the other social media platforms, their search engines are terrible. There is no podcast search engine. You can't search for a topic. You can search for a podcast by title or on LinkedIn, you can search for people and their attributes or people in their company. But if they're talking about a topic, the search engines just do not work. So let me explain how valuable this is to you as a business owner and as an expert, you have expertise and people all around the world would love to ask you questions. In fact, they do ask questions. They're going to Google and YouTube and they're typing in these questions. Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could be right there in front of them? They do a search and they find you. I actually know exactly how to do that. So the first thing that you've got to do is define who your target audience is. Like when you get clients and customers right now, who are they? Where do these people come from? How do they find you? If it's through referral and word of mouth, then perfect. It means that you've got a good thriving business that's valuable. We just need to scale that up a bit. We need to ramp things up and we can automate things using online advertising. So what problems do you solve for them? What questions are they asking? So these people, when they go to Google and YouTube, what are they typing in? What are they asking? Now, you might not know this, but you can use tools to do keyword research. 
Now I have other episodes on my channel, a link to right here, where I demonstrate how to do this keyword research. But the point is, you can find out what questions your target audience is asking. And I want you to know how golden this is because when you've done the keyword research and you found the questions that your target audience is asking, you've already done half the work. Most people are not willing to do this. They just wanna make great content that will go viral, but 99% of the time it goes flat. And when it does go viral, it doesn't pull in the right audience. If you take this step, you do the keyword research, you find these questions, this is gold. All right, this is actually step one of a nine step strategy. Let me show this to you. So you've gotta find these specific questions. Step two is to outline your talking points. Don't write a script, just outline your talking points, plan on your episode being about 10 to 12 minutes in length. Now, when you go to record this video, break that into three different parts. Record your intro first, and really focus on delivering an intro that creates curiosity about what you're gonna teach. Don't give away the secrets, but set hooks of curiosity. Sell them on why they should watch the video. None of this content is selling you, your products, your programs, but in the intro, you're gonna sell them on why they should watch this 10 to 12 minute episode. At the end, we're still not selling them your products or services, but you're giving them a free gift and you're selling them on the value of it, why they're gonna benefit or how they're gonna benefit from receiving that free gift. They're gonna exchange your name and your email address. Then you can nurture them by email, right? There's some other ingredients, you gotta create a thumbnail, You've got to launch it with a specific title format, but now they're in your business. Now they're on your email list and in your sales funnel. So people who've never heard of you before go to Google and YouTube and they type in these questions and they find you and you build a relationship with them on autopilot and they join your email list and you invite them to have a conversation with you. This is the best type of advertising because they don't feel like they've been advertised to. They searched for you you gave them what they wanted, you helped them out, you gave them a free gift, and now you're having a conversation with this warm lead. I really want you to succeed with this strategy, and I put together a book, I wanna give this to you as a gift. This is called A Hero's Guide to Influence on YouTube. This is for business owners that wanna leverage YouTube for lead generation. Now I put two years of work into this book, taking you behind the scenes on the many, many channels that I produce, many of them generating seven and even eight figure revenue just from organic YouTube leads. It's in color so you can see all the screenshots and understand what you're looking at. If you pay the shipping and the printing cost, then this is my gift to you. Just go to natesyoutubebook.com.